What's up, people? Let's do some quick, quick reactions. I'm going through my subreddit this time, seeing what all of you posted. Let's start with this video. जैसा कि रामायण में बताया गया है कि हनुमान जी को अपने शरीर के आकार को बड़ा या छोटा करने का और हवा में उड़ने का वरदान प्राप्त था तो श्री राम जी के आदेश अनुसार सीता जी को ढूंढने के लिए हनुमान जी ने एक विशाल रूप धारण किया था और लंका के समुद्र तट तक पहुंचने के लिए उन्होंने एक लंबी छलांग लगाई थी ऐसा कहा जाता है की हनुमान जी का ये विशाल रूप इतना ज्यादा बड़ा था की उनके छलांग लगाने पर जमीन पर गड्ढे पड़ जाते थे और आज भी श्रीलंका के अशोक वनम में आपको हनुमान जी के पैरों के निशान देखने को मिल जाएंगे ये निशान कहीं पे बड़े और कहीं पे छोटे मिले इससे पता चलता है की हनुमान जी अपने शरीर के आकार को बड़ा या छोटा कर सकते थे इनफैक्ट सिर्फ श्रीलंका में ही नहीं उनके फुटप्रिंट के एविडेंस पूरी एशिया में मौजूद है जिसमें से एक फुटप्रिंट का मार्क आपको आंध्र प्रदेश में भी देखने मिल जाएगा दिस इज अफेक्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी क्लीम रिक्वायर एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी एविडेंस Now I understand if you wanna enjoy this, enjoy the beauty of the fiction. If you think of this as a story and you wanna enjoy it, that's great, that's fine. But if you think this is real, then it's an extraordinary claim that there was a Vanara Hanuman who could change the uh, size of his body and could fly. That's an extraordinary claim. Now where's the evidence for that? Footprints on cement, on rock. Anyone could have done that. That's easily deniable evidence. Where's the extraordinary evidence? Anyone could have done that. That could have been made. Footprints on cement. You think cement existed back then? Let's see what all are there. Oh yeah, I just had uh, the Hyderabad uh, Science Festival, India Science Festival. Sorry, in Hyderabad, met a lot of people there. This is a photo from one of those events where I spoke. <laughs> This has been floating around on social media a lot. Ranveer Lahwadi hospitalized after both testicles explode due to excessive semen retention. Not gonna comment more on this because this post is clearly making fun of him. I don't want to do that. Yeah, he does promote semen retention. An atheist and a believer. Can't answer the believer's prayers by sending an atheist to build a fort. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Oh my God, they have a way to. answer every single thing i got less marks because i didn't study i got less marks because my past life it's <laughs> so god is punishing me that seems like a response where you don't have to be responsible for the outcome good one Mufti Menk destroyed ignorant Sadguru. Oh my God! There are similar videos about every single person. Fanboys make videos like these, insulting one person while uh, glamorizing the other person. That's what are they saying? First, do some homework, cool man. <laughs> what are you going to do with budgets? <laughs> good one, good one. I'll upload this. <laughs> Dr. Zakir Naik agrees to debate with Sadhguru, and the post says, "Wow, this is like Slavoj Zizek versus uh, Jordan Peterson." What? Both of them are Jordan Peterson. <laughs> oh my God, that's a good joke. I'm gonna put this. Congrats, Pranav. Okay, good joke, good joke, bro. That's not me. Although I do have a picture of uh, body transformation that's on my Instagram. Okay, this is a good one. चाइना और पाकिस्तान से हम कब्जा मुक्त हो जाएंगे क्या पीओ के वापस ले लेंगे हम ये और बता दीजिए सारी आप एस्ट्रोलॉजी की बात तो कोई जो एक्सपर्ट एस्ट्रोलॉजर वो कह सकता है मगर जो लोग इसका मजाक उड़ाते हैं मैं सिर्फ एक बात कहना चाहता हूँ ये बताइए धरती में कितने परसेंट पानी सत्तर परसेंट पानी है ना हमारे शरीर में कितना परसेंट पानी सत्तर परसेंट पानी है ना तो चंद्रमा के मूवमेंट से धरती के पानी पर असर पड़ता है और हमारे शरीर के पानी पर असर नहीं पड़ता है क्या ये बात वैज्ञानिक लॉजिकल है स्टार्ट हुआ कि हर मूवमेंट के साथ असर पड़ता है अब यह है कि अभी साइंस को उस मूवमेंट का असर नापना नहीं आया है इसलिए वो इस ढंग का मजाक उड़ाते हैं This guy, this minister is like a walking set of misconceptions. First, I'll debunk this whole thing. But first, for those of you who don't understand Hindi, he was saying that if the Earth is seventy percent water and our bodies are seventy percent water, if the Moon's gravity effects creates tides on Earth, why can't it affect our bodies? It's because water in oceans is present in liquid form. It's a large body of liquid. When you apply any force. not just the force of gravity from the moon any force that you apply it doesn't affect just that part it affects the that entire region of water right so water from oceans rises till the downward pull of earth's gravity and the upward pull of pull of the moon's gravity equalize at that point water will stop rising and that's why you have high tides where the moon uh, is above the water and low tides where the moon is not above the water 
it's that simple now in our bodies water is not present in this continuous liquid form it's present as part of cells as part of muscles organs as individual molecules that may or may not be parts of other molecules that's a water is present in our bodies this kind of force from the moon cannot create tides in this water we not like an uh, like a canister like a glass that's filled with 70% water right and the moon's force of gravity affects everything the same way the only thing is only if it's liquid can it move under the action of such a force if it's something solid like our bodies it cannot move under the action of such a weak force that's why the moon doesn't affect us or even if it affects us it's so negligible that any movement is less than the uh, width of a hydrogen atom so if i'm not wrong uh, he didn't answer the question that was asked to him he just dodged the question and moved on to something else that's so awesome that's that's an awesome fact from his repository of facts you know what i have decided maybe i'll do a compilation of videos featuring just this guy and i'll uh, i'll probably react to all of them and comment on all of them that may come out next see you in the next one